question of the day. Why do you use dog Latin in your writing? Now the reason I'm doing this type of video rather than a short 60 second video is because once in a while this question will come up from newbies who come onto the channel who haven't even watched one video and they ask this question because they come from the perhaps common law sovereign citizen movement, um, Glossa channel people, those types of things. In other words, they don't know one thing about correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. So they automatically cast judgment on something they see when they don't have the full story, which is a violation of rule one rule equal and shows a lack of knowledge of judge mechanics called judge mechanics. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to put in the title of the video, why do you use dog Latin so that people can easily search it and I don't have to keep talking about it in videos because I have made several videos in the past addressing this non-issue. Now, first of all, where does this idea of dog Latin come from? Have you looked it up? Have you parsed the words? Have you seen what it means in the legal system? It just basically means a debased form of Latin. Does it look like I'm using Latin in my writing? Does it look like any kind of English you've ever seen? You may recognize the words, but the order in which the words are put, the sequencing, not so familiar, is it? It may kind of sort of look like something you may get from a court, a court document, but not quite, because there is a specific sequencing to the words, otherwise known as a mathematical interface. So correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar is a completely different jurisdiction, i.e. domain, than the fiction or Latin-based languages or, or whatever it is. Sanskrit-based languages, any other language is different. It's a technology. It's completely different. And if you watch the over 200 videos on my YouTube channel, you will get a sense of this if you choose. Now, why would someone come and say, why do you use dog Latin? Where would that idea come from? As a guess, I would probably say they would direct you to page 666 of the Chicago 19, whatever, 167 Chicago Styles Manual. Don't take that number to heart. I'm just throwing it off the top of my head. Some Styles Manual, page 666. This is what dog Latin is. This is what Glossa is, blah, blah, blah. So, in other words, the individual casting the question is giving jurisdiction, jurisdiction to their grammar to the fiction. Yes. Giving jurisdiction to the same folks who brought you moon landings, spinning balls going through space, uh, happy Thanksgivings between pilgrims and Native Americans. Uh, the same people that brought you jabs. They brought you masks. They brought you, well, the whole thing that's going on right now. Basically, same system that brought you that. Same system that brought you the Bible with the mass murdering vengeful God who wipes out the whole planet with a flood and who sacrifices his only son in a blood human sacrifice, which is reenacted every Sunday by the devoted cult followers where they practice cannibalism, symbolic ca cannibalism, eating the, the blood and body flesh of this son. The same system that brought you all this bullshit brings you dog Latin. And if you choose to give jurisdiction to that system for your grammar, that's completely up to you. I, however which is the beauty of contract. I, however, choose not to. Using the wonderful technology known as correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, I've been able to help create a co-dictionary with all the finite means to my contract words in there, meaning it's a finite mean. There's a finite quality to the mean. A word or a symbol or a sentence is just like this cup. You fill it up, you bank, value in it, top it off, and it is what it is. One word, one meaning, one congruency. 
unlike the fiction where they give you definitions, no finite contract. That's why you have multiple meanings per word in the fiction. And that's the same fiction that gives you dog Latin. So again, if you choose to navigate with adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, that's entirely up to you. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the question itself, why do you use dog Latin, has an assumption built into it, and it's a leading question. It's a fallatio question, meaning there's a fallacy in there. You're assuming I'm using dog Latin. You're lacking knowledge in what it is I'm doing. And now I have just educated you. And you can look at the over 200 videos on my YouTube channel and get some more education if you choose. And uh, I hope this gives this individual closure. I'm going to send it to him and I'm going to post it as a premiere. And hopefully, maybe I'll put it as the channel trailer. So, because it seems to be a pretty common thing amongst people. Again, to repeat. If you're going to give jurisdiction to your grammar, to the fiction, that's your choice. Get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any grammar questions, or if you'd like to set up a video consultation, contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Ah, P.S. The individual who asked me this question, I sent them an email, and I offered them a video consultation. They completely ignored my offer and continued on and said, why do you use dog Latin? So this is the type of thing I deal with from time to time. If you don't want to set up a video consultation with me, if you don't want to look at me face to face to articulate your questions in an honorable, graceful, rule one, rule equal, peace and peaceful and neutral manner, then I know that you're not serious. Thanks for watching.